Good morning, my friends. I hope you're doing well today. I'm thrilled to be here this morning. I'm very excited about today's look. I join you with the no-nonsense gold hoops because we're doing a real chic and sophisticated look today. Get ready with me style. We are gonna make this all drugstore though. I've just been in the mood for this very clean, beautiful skin, simple eye, bolder lip. That's just the vibe I want to play with today. If you hear some rumbles of thunder, it has been kind of a stormy morning. There was like one single super loud clap of thunder in the night that made me think something just fell on our house. It was just so loud. I woke up like, <gasps> what happened? Anyways, I love you all. I hope you're doing well. Um, I don't know how many of you have school starting next week, but we do. And yeah, we're just trying to enjoy these last few days of summer break. So I'm shooting this on Thursday morning and that means last night was cheerleading practice and there was no air conditioning. It was hot. I was sweating. Like, come home, absolutely immediate shower. My face was no exception. I was pretty sure I would look at myself and say, oh, there's not gonna be any face complexion makeup left here, but there was actually. And this was my combo that I used, and I'm gonna use it again today. They're both Revlon products. It's the Colorstay Grip 16 Hour Matte Primer. Um, this has a superfood detox blend, they say. It goes on really nice and smooth, and I guess it doesn't make a lot of sense to wanna use a matte primer and then in like kind of a glowy foundation, but that's what I did and it, they did work well together. This is the Revlon Illuminance Skin Caring Foundation with the 5% Squalane Hyaluronic Acid. Um, this is fairly new. I've used this in a video already and I have the shade 213 in this. Um, and it's not really the type of thing I would seek out for amazing staying power. I just happened to wear these products yesterday and they happened to work. So let's do it again. Here's the primer. It looks kind of white as you squirt it out and then you can see sort of a transparent look to it and it smooths on really easily. It kind of makes me think of a drugstore alternative to um, benefit professional in terms of the way that feels going across the skin. Only this one, even though it says matte, I feel like it's got a little more hydration in it than classic professional. So maybe a little more similar to the professional hydrate. So I just get that on all over and already I see such a, like a smoothing on the face. And then we'll use our illuminance. We love that they put a pump on it. There's that. And this happens to be a pretty good shade for me. So we'll dab that around. Oh, a quote just popped up on my A-L-E-X-A, -E so I don't set off all of yours at home. I needed to hear that quote. There are no ordinary moments. We need to remember that, don't we? Like, I don't know about you, but this point in the summer, things get crazy in the house. You got your three kids, and I just feel like they're ready to be back in school. They're ready to have that routine again because I feel like the, the tempers are a little bit shorter. There's just been some struggles, you know, late summer, but... There are no ordinary moments, you know? You need to treat all of these days like the gift that they are and recognize that the state of your life won't be like this forever. Everything is temporary. Everything's always changing and flowing and moving and we need to make sure we're being present and appreciating these times, even though, you know, some of the moments are hard. That foundation is really pretty. It's like a light to medium coverage, but you know, you got a nice little glow on the skin and I feel like going over that primer it really is good for my pores. Then for my concealer, I'm just pulling out my e.l.f. Hydrating Camo Concealer. I just felt like the right move today. I want the coverage. I want the nice, like, kind of natural meshing in with all the other products. Type of quality that this possesses, you know, it just always works right into the other products so well. And I'm light peach in that stuff. I'm gonna blend that around. There we go. See how I'm just doing my standard spread and then we'll just kind of tap it in with the larger side. This is really, I think, the best way to maximize your concealer's coverage. So we're not going for perfect blending in this step. We're just taking the one dot and making it go a little bit further. There we go. Can I just say I absolutely love working with this age of kid that I'm working with. Like, I'd only ever really been exposed to, you know, teaching my fellow cheerleaders at like the high school and college level. There were many times when I acted as a coach because we didn't have one. And I'm just familiar with the skills of that 
age group and I don't know the personalities of that age group and obviously I have little kids at home so I'm, I'm not coming in totally blind to what I'm working with with these cheerleaders but uh, this like five, six, seven, eight, nine age group of kids. It's so much fun. The random things they'll just come up and tell you just completely out of the blue. You just never know. Like this one little girl comes up to me last night. She just starts doing the robot. So you don't just stand there and watch. I do the robot too. And then we're both just they're doing the robot and then more kids come and do it. It's just fun. Okay, so there's that hydrating camo concealer all blended in. And do you see what I mean? Even up to this part of my face, you can see that like the skin is still catching the light. It worked in well with everything. You gotta love hydrating camo. And then we're gonna set that. Setting is important. I pulled out Maybelline, Maybelline? I pulled out Maybelline Fit Me Loose Powder in Fair. Just, it's in my rotation of drugstore loose powders. It works well always. And I'm gonna tap into that with my little triangle puff. And looky here, we just dab it on. We're doing a little bake. We want this to look really flawless is the thing. So we're doing like a, a light bake here. And we're gonna do that also in the T-zone. And this is gonna really help our staying power because it's hot and it's humid and it's rainy and it's swampy. I take my little Morphe under eye bullet brush and look at how pretty this looks. You get some of that excess kind of blended away. And everything's looking so smooth, not the least bit dull up on that under eye. Mm-hmm. Get it. And now I'm remembering one other thing I did yesterday that might have contributed to the really good staying power. And by the way, no touch-ups that day. No touch-ups at all. They're just one time. I took a little bit, just a light bit. I know this is a powder foundation, but I took a light bit of the L'Oreal Infallible Fresh Wear Powder Foundation, or they call it foundation in a powder. Um, I have the shade True Beige. I just took that, a little bit of that, on my BK Beauty 107, and I just kind of stamped it over the rest of the skin. Might have helped with the staying power, but I'm not using a lot, okay? This is a truly light, 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 light application. But it makes me feel more like that foundation is set. Okay, I have another recipe for anybody out there doing keto or low carb. Um, this has been probably one of Bub's favorite things that I've made under that umbrella, and I meal prepped it for his lunches this week. And it's a chicken fajita casserole, and it worked for us this week because we were coming back from pups, and there wasn't a lot of time to do like a long throw some meat on the smoker for him, wait hours for it to get done or whatever. This involved a rotisserie chicken, so I just like got my grocery order. I needed the rotisserie chicken, an onion, a couple of peppers. Um, a block of cream cheese, a packet of fajita seasoning. I'll link the recipe below, but basically that all combines and you put it in your 9x13, top it with some Monterey Jack cheese, and it turned out so good. He really, really liked that. It's like we're making today's show out of this, and that was my cooking segment. We're gonna bronze. I'm just pulling out a powder bronzer today. This is Hard Candy Instant Summer, and this is a really good drugstore bronzer if you're looking for something just matte, basic. Um, I wear the shade tan in this. Really, really really like this stuff. I like the way it blends. I like the way it lays down on the skin. It's a really good formula. Like if you touch it with your finger, it feels like a smooth, creamy powder foundation almost. It's really good. And I'm taking that and getting it up around my hairline. We want to be, you know, kind of chiseled for this look. Bronzed and beautiful. And we really want the skin to have some color because I'm coming in with a pretty bold lip on this and I just feel like it all comes together better when the overall complexion, you know, has a little bit of that tan vibe. See, you can get chiseled still with a powder bronzer or contour. <laughs> I know I sometimes get in a mode where, oh, I need to pull out a stick if I really want to you know, get some contour going, but this did it for a long time before people were into that and it can still do it. So what do you guys think about what's going on with Bold and the Beautiful and Finn, Steffi, Sheila's back in the picture now, and Sheila is Finn's birth mother. She's done a lot of bad things, but Finn is starting to have, I think, this, um, I don't know, subconscious pull toward her that he never really had before. And Finn and Steffi's daughter Kelly are at the beach, and Kelly about drowns. Sheila happens to be there kind of creepily stalking the situation, but does save Kelly. And Steffi's madder than the hornet over this situation, which I, I do get where she's coming from. Sheila's done some awful things to the family, 
But at the same time, she has to recognize if Sheila was not there, her daughter would have drowned. I think she's having a hard time even like wrapping her head around that one. Sheila did a good thing there. And as much as she wants to label her as a purely bad person, like she did do a good thing. She saved her daughter. Um, Face Off Blush from Hard Candy, and we're using the Who Is She color. So I thought this might coordinate nice with a red lip. And I have a, a little layering I want to do. I want to do this and put a little Milani Luminoso on top. It's kind of like a blush topper. Let's see if we like it. You know, I love the format of these little doe foot applicator blushes. We're just going to start small with a couple of dots. This is a little deeper shade, obviously, than Born Yesterday, which is their cool pink. And start dabbing it around and we get this beautiful rosy flush. And there is a little satin finish in this. Oh, it's so pretty. Yeah, this is kind of the underrated shade for me. Like, I'm always talking about Born Yesterday, but this is so nice. And this will be super pretty, like going into fall and winter, don't you think? That in from the cold cheek. See that pretty rosiness? I like that. I might even go just a little bit more, my friends. If there's one place we don't want to hold back, it's blush. Someone tagged me on Instagram recently in their Instagram story. They said they wore three blushes and they were thinking of me. And I thought, you know, that's good. I will support you in however many blushes you want to layer on. So there's that. There's who is she, okay? And then I was thinking for some reason that Luminoso would be pretty on top of that. Just because Luminoso is a really pretty blush in its own right. You know, it's shimmery. It's got kind of this peachy luminosity. But I wanted to see it just worn kind of light on top of that. I just thought it might kind of soften. It's almost blurring the cheek a bit. Yes, I do like that. That is a pretty combo. It's a radiant cheek. It's kind of a peachy cheek. Mm. I'm not going for big, super bold highlight for this look. I kind of like the level of glow we're at. It's pretty subtle, but I want a little bit. So I'm going to take um, from Believe Beauty. This is the Radiant Finish Highlighter in the shade Pink Pearls. There's nothing super pinky about it, but it's really pretty. Believe Beauty knows exactly what they're doing with these beautiful powder textures they've made. And I'm getting a little bit of that on the Real Techniques setting brush. And I want just a kind of a glowy pop on this. So I kind of lay it down and then buff over it. Ooh, that's making the skin look healthy. Oh my gosh, can I just have thunder in the distance at all times in my life? I just love the sound of thunder. I don't need it loud in my face like the one solitary clap that woke me up out of bed earlier. But just the gentle thunder in the distance. It's soothing. A little bit right here. I'm digging this look, friends. It's coming together well. We're going to do a quick brow, just a little pencil and some, you know, setting action. This is the CoverGirl Easy Breezy Brow. The shade is rich brown for me. And we're just going to get those brows nice and even. There are no ordinary moments. Sometimes we need to stay aware that we only really have the moment we're in. You know, that's what really matters, especially when we're in this kind of mode at the end of summer where the vibe is very much like looking ahead to what's the next big thing. Okay, it's school starting, it's schedules changing, it's this and that. You do have days to enjoy and to soak up. The other day we actually got started on a game where I don't know how they think this stuff up. Belle thought she heard a sound in the house and then it turned into, this is all like after lunchtime yesterday, and then it turned into a situation of pretend intruder. We knew there wasn't anybody in the house, but they wanted to play like there was. So we all piled into Bubba's crib <laughs> and the kids are like laughing their heads off and they're like, we're all like all scrunching in there together, myself included. We've all covered ourselves up with stuffed animals. And then there's a community center not far from where I live and there are a bunch of cars over there. We're in there, the light's off, it's completely dark. There's one cat in there and we're like, okay, we're safe, we're safe from the intruder. And then a car alarm goes off at the community center and we're all like, ah! <laughs> the timing of that was just perfect. What kids won't do for a little drama, a little spice in the day. So I'm loving what this brow's doing. This one's just getting started. There are so many skinny brow pencil options, so you just take your pick. 
Okay, Maybelline Brow Fast Sculpt, and this is medium brown, and I'm just mainly using this for its setting abilities, not so much like, oh, I need more color, but I'm using those longer bristles, and the hold on this stuff is just so good. So I'm just using that to kind of perk up those brow hairs, make them stand at attention. So I am five feet tall. I'm not a very big person, but I do have like some arms and some chest. I'm finding it difficult to find dresses that I want to wear that don't wear like a huge tint on me. Like I, I want to wear the cute flowy dress, but all the models who wear those cute flowy dresses are like six feet tall and don't have arms and chest and it's just looking like perfectly flowy goddess vibes. And then I get one of those flowy dresses and I feel like I'm wearing a tent. Not enough shape kind of hanging off of me, if you know what I mean, like, I don't know. What's a cute dress that comes off casual? Not too like hugging every curve necessarily, but yet won't look like a tent on a small body. Hmm? Anyone? This is Milani eyeshadow primer. I talk about it like you've never heard of it. Yes, we know what that is. And we're gonna use one of the like just mother of all basics, little mini palettes today. Don't take your eyeshadow primer in too far. Like get it on your lid and everything, get it in the crease, get it on where the eyeshadow is being applied. But be careful to not put it where it would be like overlapping concealer because I've accidentally done that a few times and it does give you like a thick look that you're not intending to have at all. So like don't get it in the inner cavern of your eye. Just get it on the eye. We're using Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells. This is a must have. Yes, get this in your eyeshadow wardrobe for this back to school season. It's just all the basics you need. You've got your matte brown, you've got your matte medium brown, you've got a, like a bronze, a pinky shimmer, and a light shimmer. This is really gonna work for us for the basic eye we want because we're doing more of a statement lip today. So I first go into our little matte friend there, our lighter of the two mattes and just get that going in your crease. And these are just so beautifully pigmented. If you haven't picked up one of these Wet n Wild Color Icon 5 or 10 pan palettes, it's some of the best that you're going to run into in, say, Walmart. A lot of different color options. Shadows are soft. They're pigmented. I would highly recommend. And walking on eggshells, as we've discussed before, you know, it's been through a lot of different little makeovers over the years. It started as a trio. They turned it into a quad for a while. I feel like this is probably the best formation of shades for walking on eggshells because they're giving us these nice matte basics. So I just get a little bit going there. See how it's just a very soft crease? I think I'm going to take a little bit of this bronzy brown. I'm going to add that to my crease also. And yeah, it has a little shimmer but it also has some depth. I'm pretty much going directly over what I just did. I'm just bumping it up darkness wise. One dab into that shadow is all. Building it up above the crease a little so we have some lift and then take a blending brush and we can work over that edge a bit. Look at that, softening. And then while we're kind of working in this zone, we could use that same brush we used to blend with. We can go into this pearly color right here just a little bit and highlight that brow bone lightly. We're just getting barely any on the brush, okay? And then we're asking ourselves, how dark do we really want to take this? Do we want to get into the dark brown? I think I do want a little bit of that, at least a little on my outside. A little bit flat brush outer corner and the other option would have been to maybe go into the deep bronze that's right beside it if you don't want to take it as dark but I'm not going extremely dark with this eye look. A little bit smaller brush nothing added on to it and just going into the crease and making sure that brown is blending in with everything else. Add a little bit more if you need to because sometimes when we're working with the flat brush sometimes it doesn't quite attack the crease like we want it to. This is Profusion small pointed brush and it's like made for that. It's made for getting in there. And then I think I'm going to take a little bit of this like kind of pinky pearly color and I'm just going to use that on my inner part of my lid for some brightness and let it overlap what else has happened there. 
Okay, pretty. It just looks a little bit glowy there. It's not too metallic, but it, you know, it's pigmented and it does show. Just a little bit smaller flat brush, or if you have a sponge tip, you can use that here as well. This is your basic works for anything type of eye right here. And then we ask ourselves, do we want to maintain a really lifted look? Do we want more smoky definition? I think I want some very controlled definition with this eye look. So I'm gonna take a smaller brush, like a little smudge brush. The Sigma E21 is nice. You can go into that bronzy color, so not our darkest shade. Smallish brush, and just get a little bit of that right in at the lash line. And look what that does. It does define the eye better. It immediately, to me, makes that eye seem a little bit bigger, but we're not going hog wild with it. I mean, you do whatever you wanna do, but I'm trying to keep a certain vibe with this look. It's an eye that looks really finished, but not too heavy with makeup. Then for the lashes, I recently picked up this mascara. I don't know why, but I was in the mood for like a L'Oreal double-ended mascara. I wanted to relive my days of double extend, which was like my go-to mascara repeatedly repurchased during my college years. But I went for this Voluminous Superstar Red Carpet Black. And so it's one of those two-step mascaras and I thought maybe I'll really like this. I probably used it years ago, but it's been a while. My hair is actually, like I would normally do this style on really dirty hair, but my hair is super duper clean. So I'm having a lot of flyaways because I just washed it last night, but I wanted the clean look, you know? Okay, we're gonna curl those lashes, curl them really good. I try to get right at the root and then I'm pulsing. That's what David told me to do. And I hold it for a long time. The time shown in a video looks quick, but I'm actually holding it for at least 30 seconds. Okay, and then we're gonna do that step one. Look at that nice little brush. Little hourglass brush, prime it up. See that? Got our white coat there. Yes, I do have the new Too Faced Lash Primer on hand. I've used it a couple times. I've not been shocked and amazed by its abilities, but I'm gonna keep working with it. Okay, so both sets of lashes are now coated up with that primer. I'm going back over to this eye, and there's what your brush for that in. There's my little mustache. That brush is like a curved brush. Um, these are not rubber bristle brushes. And we're just gonna top off. And yeah, I've been using this a few times. And I think it's a pretty nicely lengthening mascara. And you can see some like little lash extending kind of fibers in this. Look at that, that's some pretty good length on me. I f really find that the mirror right under the nose helps you see the entire lash and see how it builds. Woo! Flip the wrist now, flip the wrist. Oh, that's so hard to get in the swing of. This is really, like, it's doing good. It's doing some good work for me. If you got messy, clean up your mistakes. <laughs> I didn't get too, too messy, but gosh, maybe I did. See, I think that is actually a really good <laughs> mascara. I'm impressed by that. I am gonna take a little bit of Cali Ray for my lower lashes. I'm not gonna make a big lower lash statement here, but just to kind of balance. And then we're gonna do a fun lip. This lip brought to you by Revlon. We are going to do some of the Colorstay Suede Ink Lipstick, and this is in the shade Breadwinner. I've talked about another shade like this that I classify as more of a soft red, and it's called Want It All. I was wearing that in a video not too long ago, and that's pretty, and it looks pretty rosy and intense on the lips, but this one today, in comparison, you can see a lot more distinct red. So just know that if you don't wanna be as red as we go today, the shade called One It All is a nice softer option. Um, I am gonna start out with some lip liner though. This is one you don't often see me pull out. This is my Revlon Colorstay lip liner in the shade Red. We're always going for the nudes and the neutral and layering and whatnot. We're doing red today. So I will say these um, suede inks are growing on me a little bit. They're not the most comfy thing because put them on, there's this immediate feeling of like, is this a thick matte lipstick? However, they wear so well. This is not a very formed stick. You know, either if you're not gonna give me a skinny stick to apply this type of shade with, at least give me a very formed bullet 
because that rounded off tip with this very intense red is going to be a little tricky. And as you can see first, I'm trying to maintain a full-on discussion while applying red lip liner. I love Color Stay lip liners. I mean, this could be the whole red lip right here. This is really when the whole look starts to feel like, okay, I get what you're after there, Em. Hi, Bisky. You hearing that rain? Okay, taking a little bit of this, and it's just got that little bit of dry matte drag, but... The color of the red lipstick, it's got a teeny bit more, I would say, just a bit more warmth in it than the liner had. The liner showed actually a hint of pink, but look at this. This is the real true red. And this is the kind of formula you do want your red to be in. It's not going to drift. It's going to last all day. You're going to be taking it off at the end of the day, you know? It's not going to wear down. You can feel confident in it. Ooh, and that is clean. That line is crisp. I'm using just the edge of this in a couple places just to even it all out. And then I have a little finishing touch up my sleeve, gang. If you've seen me using Kosas Cloud Set and maybe you haven't seen all my videos so you don't know about this little dupe, but at the end of the look as we try to make things look really finished and nice, you can take some Maybelline Fit Me Press Powder. This is the shade Porcelain. This really corresponds with Airy in the Cloud Set range. And take a little bit of this and kind of like just roll my brush in it and give a few little dabs right in here. And it just does something. It just does something smoothing. And I kind of go across the forehead with it too. And we're talking just, ooh, a smidgen of product is going on. But it does something. Smooths the under eye, smooths that seam between highlighter and blush and all the things that were going on. Mm, always good, always pleasing when I do that stuff. And then try to lay down some hairs. Look at the lashes, the brows. Like, I'm really digging this look. I really feel it does look chic, sophisticated, pulled together. I think the level of eye that we did is just perfect pairing in with this bold lip. Walking on eggshells is such a staple. I feel like this entire look was kind of a nice merging of pleasant surprises and staple products. Like, we know we love Wet n Wild Walking on Eggshells. We know we love Elf Hydrating Camo Concealer and Maybelline Fit Me Powder and Milani Luminoso. But kind of a recent surprise for me was that um, primer and foundation pairing from Revlon. Again, it was the Color Stay Grip and the Illuminance Foundation. Those actually make a really pretty pair. I like combining with Luminoso the Face Off Blush and Who Is She? And I think the lip duo there. I mean, that's just dynamite if you want red. So thank you all very much for being here for this video and take this as your reminder that this look If it feels fancy just because now there's a red lip on it You take it anywhere. It does not matter Like if you're going out to the mailbox that day if you are just picking up groceries If you're going to the library if you're going back to school shopping I don't care what the occasion is you can still do makeup if you feel like doing makeup and don't let anybody make you feel like oh That's too much or that's whatever. This is a pretty simple look. We just threw on some red and there's the thunder. Thank you so much for your time today, everyone. I so appreciate your kind comments. Those of you who roll in, like I liked it before watching it, like thank you. I love you, thank you so much. I will see you again soon and have a great day. I love you guys, bye.